Hi, I'm Cheryl Elgy from Kerrang in Northern Victoria, Australia. Um, not sure if anyone is going to be joining me this afternoon. I'm on a bit earlier, so I need to go out tonight. So I thought I'd jump on and do it now and just see um, who's around. So I might just continue. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use birds and branches. Sort of getting away from Christmas um, things. Let me see whether that's up the right way for you guys or not. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, be just because some of the things, if I was using some of the um, products that are on the last chance list you may get all excited and then if it's sold out you wouldn't be able to get it so that's why I'm using some annual catalogue products so um, I case this from now I was going to write that down I've been rushing a little bit so I didn't actually write that down so I'm not sure um, hi Diane thanks for joining me how are you on this hot day um, I will put that in the link and on my blog. So um, it was on our demonstrator planning page now for me to remember how to construct this card. So I'm using um, thick white cardstock. I apologise for the inability to get some of our products. It's because of the shipping crisis. So this is just half a piece of our A4 in Australia we use the metric size which is um, let's see I think it's 20 almost 30 centimeters <clears throat> so if you're not in our market you're having to use the 11 inch so it's 29 29 point about uh, about six or something I did try and use 11 and that gave me a really sort of little, really little card so if you're in the um, American the Americans are the only ones that use this letter size cardstock as far as I'm aware you would be that much short and if you multiply that by two you're going to be about an inch shorter than what we are so that's okay <coughs> So the next thing to do, I don't need that yet, if you have a tea ruler, I haven't actually used mine much, I've had it for a while and haven't used it much, now I'm going to need some white paper underneath that because I can't see it on the colour. You don't need to have this but it's handy if you do to get things accurate. So this is just by memory, so I'm hoping I can remember this accurately. So five centimetres there and <clears throat> five centimetres here, which is going to be a bit trickier for me, which is about two inches. So if I can do, if I can do that, let's put it on the other way. That would be better, wouldn't it? a little bit out. I'll grab my, my eraser. <clears throat> Doesn't pay to guess, does it? Not that it's going to make much difference, but we want to be fairly accurate if we can. So five centimetres there. And all I did to, I didn't score it, I just put it up to the top of my trimmer and used my bone folder to get halfway because it's, I find if you're using a whole piece, it's just too hard to get an accurate measurement. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put our piece in it. Oh, I should have done it on the other side as well. Silly me. Sorry. I only did this once and I'm forgetting. Um, so that's side and I need to do this side as well. With centimetres. So 
pushing it up there. So we've got five centimeters there. And you can tell I'm not very clever with this with this ruler, can't you? Um look at five centimeters there. Oh, here. So, no, here. No, that's not right. <laughs> oh, hang it. I'm going to use my other ruler. Five there. There is a way. I'm just twisting myself around. And so, bring back our trimmer. Anyone else here? Barbara Garland. Hello, Barbara. I've not met you before. I've not seen you before on here. So, how are you going? And tell me where you're from when you jump on. Are you in Australia or are you in on a different part of the world? Can you see there where I'm getting my cutting blade out the road? So, I'm going to score, just making sure you can all see. So, on our trimmer, it's pretty easy to see. You don't have to be super accurate, but you kind of do. But it, you know, no one's gonna, no one's gonna pick you up if you're a little bit out. I'm sure, or it'll still work. So we're going to score across the centre there, turn it around, and do the same thing on the other direction. It's a little bit like making that. Um, what did we call it? The the card. I did a class on it. Um, earlier in the year was it or was it last year gosh I do so many classes I've forgotten um, where the is that right yeah that's right where the um, where the chicks poked out the side some of the girls that did the class would remember that one but this one's it's actually going to be a little birdhouse and you can see how that's going to rather clever I thought I'm gonna get rid of my pencil marks first while it's flat okay so then you're going to work it so these go in you can see what I'm what I'm trying to achieve here not sure card ends together as well I think perhaps that's what I didn't do on my first card because I actually had to trim off a bit on the bottom to make mine even. I think I've got that even. So then I didn't cut my green piece because I wasn't sure whether I'd end up with the same size as a normal piece of cardstock. Because having to trim yeah, no, see, that's, that's a, no, oh, no, it's about the same. So this should be right. So how I did that then was, see if I can do it with this, was I, what did I do? So this is going to be my base. I oh, know, I measured down again, five centimetres. And... Up there, that's what I need to do. Just make sure it's straight. I'm down a bit because I want my mark right on the edge. So that's that. And then, oh, I need to go in the center as well. Oops. So 
need to mark because this is 10 centimeters across here. I need to mark the five centimeter mark in the center. And then you guessed it, we're going to cut from, from point to point. So thereby making our little mat for a little birdhouse. Do the same here. So you could flip it over and not use this side because but you can't really when you use your trimmer because it leaves a it leaves that rough looking edge on it. So depends how fussy you are, I guess, because next next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take our little die from our birds and blooms set and I'm going to put it just like that and I'm going to run that through the die cutting machine. to show you that so that cuts clean out of there no fuss at all you can usually just get that out with your fingers and I thought to add a bit of interest and there's not even any bits stuck in there which is amazing so no poking out fiddly bits so then what I did I haven't finished the other one that I started, but I just did it as far as this so I could see what this looked like. Um, then I ran that through the bark embossing folder, which is also carrying through. Hi, Laura. Oh, that's great, Di. I'm glad Di made um, the little box that I made last week. She made that for her card class ladies. The little impossible box. with that and I just added a bit of texture let me open these up this up I should say because the way I've got so many products on my desk I'm probably going to get where I put that and I've already um, embossed the other one so then you're just left with this so we'll grab that pair of pizzazz. I just did tone on tone. I was well, probably not, not game to do a darker colour just in case. I don't want to mess it up because I'm on a bit of a time limit tonight. Just adds a little bit of, I don't know, something extra. Something about little bird houses so just make me happy. It's 
something a bit different than flowers too, isn't it? I'm making mine a thinking of you. If I do thinking of you, then I can use it for whatever occasion I would like. It's like if you put it's your day or something like that, you can't really use it as a sympathy card, but this would make a lovely sympathy card or a birthday card. Or, you know, just, uh, I'm thinking of you today. Just, yeah. So, <coughs> there's that. So then, there's our card base gone. There we go. Just going to make sure I don't forget anything and just refer to my other one. Oh, before you stick that on, you should really... Um, do the greeting. I didn't. I had mine all together before I did that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just sit that there, actually. I'm going to just... I think this is what I'm going to do. Let's see if it's going to work. Um, I'll probably scoot that up a bit. Scoot that across. I'm probably a little bit wide, aren't I? But I'm not going to start trimming it off because... It'll be okay, and I'll probably end up with with it trimmed off too far. I don't know if this will work while I'm stamping, but um, and what was I going to use? Yeah, I might just use papers as and that will tone. And I'm using the thinking of you comes from because the birds and blooms doesn't have any words in it, so I'm using the thinking of you from the blossoms in blossoms in bloom because it fits nicely into that little circle so like I always do I usually always test out my stamp make sure it's on straight make sure it's stamping properly because I've got a clip there it should be in the right position there we go I might do our other stamping too. It depends what I'm going to put on the front though, actually. So I might finish this first. It's a paper that I've been using before. Because I had to hurry. <laughs> Not used to hurrying when I do a project. I was just not really in the right head frame yesterday. I was really tired. I don't know why. I did make a card and then I wasn't, I just wasn't sure whether I was happy with it. Then I came in just before lunch and thought, you know what, I don't mind that. I'm not doing this exactly the same though. I'm doing it differently. I'll show you the other one once we get this together. Dimensionals off. Make sure I'm putting it on the right side. Or then is it with it folded perhaps? You know what, I probably shouldn't have gone five down there. I probably should have gone four point. Oops, that is crooked. Because this is a, oh no, it was 10, so that was the right measurement. Come on, you're going to come up. If I need it all up or not, yeah, I do. This is the 
dimensionals, you can usually get them up without ruining your card. Seeing as I only had put that down just now, yeah, it might be best to leave it opened out because it was crooked at the bottom. So All right, I'm going to stand up and see if I can do a better job. Lined up there. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Much better. Okay, so where did I put now? Where did I put my envelope with everything in there? It's not that one. Or is it that one? Grab the card over the wrong one. <clears throat> so out of this same set, I'll show you what I did, but I have pre-done some little birds. I don't know, when, it, when there's little things to line up, I kind of like to um, pre-cut them first and then stamp them. So I've got my little birds just show you hopefully I can do this do a good job of this um, what did I do first um, I think I did the I, think I did the crumb cake which is the hang on, crumb cake was the the um, second layer and sorry if my head's in the road. Let's not pull that down a little bit. Hopefully I can do that right. Oops, no, see. I um let's have a go at the other one. I go too far up for some reason. But you can always use your Stamparatus, where did I go? It went right up the top there, didn't I? Some days are better than others too. Oh, now I've gone too far down the bottom. Let's have another shot. It is possible. You can see from my other ones, I didn't cheat. I stamped them myself. Sometimes when you're under pressure. I just, I think I had that... Oh, straight onto my mat. It was my, maybe easier to see. White on white's a bit hard to see. Now, fingers crossed for me. That's better. Still not perfect, but it's better. Um, did I do another one of them? Yes, I did. Let's have another go at this one. Well, that one's perfect too. And then with my balmy blue, I'm going to ditch the ones that weren't any good. So they were the outline ones. Where's my other one? Here. I'm actually going to stamp off. Before I stamp on here and again, I'm going to pop it onto my mat. These mats come out of the Stamparatus, they're extra ones you, you can buy. So stamp off and stamp your blue on there, so it gives you a little blue bird. That's that one. And this is the wren type bird. So stamp off and stamp him on here. I think I missed it time too. Oh no, it's fine. So we've 
we've got heaps of birds and the same thing with your flowers this set has some flowers as well which i've pre-done some of them as well i've stamped them and oh well, that's one that's already done i'll just show you see if i can line these babies up too And there's your flowers. That's how I did my flowers. Okay. Just going to clean all of those quickly. Oh, look what I've done. You won't do that, will you? <laughs> Thinking, look, where's my sentiment? Anyway, that's not going to matter. We'll do, we'll do it like I did last time. We'll do it. And you guys were probably all yelling at me saying, you've got that on the wrong side. And when I um, folded it out, I didn't see. Anyway, it just looks like I'm thinking of this person on the back side as well as the front side, doesn't it? Don't go off there or you'll have a line. I'm such a duffer, aren't I? Easy fixed now. Birds everywhere here. Birds and flowers. Trouble is when I let that go, it's it's bouncy, so it's gonna bounce up again. So I'm gonna texture some of these flowers. Just with my bone folder in my hand, you can do it on a... That's not a very good one. Throw that one out. Hmm, that's not either. What are you doing, woman? That was a spare one to, to do to show you guys. Well, I only want three. I don't need four, I don't think. Unless I want to do five. I wasn't sure how many I needed because I used different birds. Did I use different birds? No, I used different flowers on the other one. So we can do we can do this and we could also put this has a I haven't got enough hands. This has a die that cuts out um, a branch with leaves on it. So I cut one of them out. Didn't use that on the last one because I actually used a different set. So just didn't know whether I whether I wanted that or not. I tried using different leaves and it didn't match. And then I thought, you silly, you silly girl. I actually don't think that we really need those. We might just put the birds on. Let's see, it bothers me a little that the birds, the birds do have feet, but they don't have feet on the die cut pieces. I just think it looks a little bit odd if you put the feet kind of underneath, so I didn't worry about the feet. If you're just stamping the bird, you can stamp the feet. I reckon as well. You could put the flower over there to cover up the feet, but I don't think we're going to worry. That one looks like he's 
hiding behind the bushes there, so he's fine. on here so we'll put him in there and grab some dimensionals for these flowers I think three is enough. Um, thinking. So because I've got all these extra birds, I think I might use one of those. I'm not putting an insert in this one because I've used the thick cardstock. So I'm going to use, this is one of the new sets the celebration set you get this and have I put the paper away no I think you get for a hundred and eighty dollar spend you get this stamp set and where's the paper I just saw it a minute ago which you've probably seen all over the internet hang on what have I dropped here get this paper as well which is really pretty just give you a brief look at that stripey one so the stripey one might have been nice for the for the birdhouse because it actually has I think it's got yeah, it's got granny apple green in it so that might have been nice to use there yeah, so they come as a set. So I just want to use the little um, sprig, I think. Um, how are we going to do that? Just do that, actually. Just want to make sure you can see that behind the behind the little bird. stick him on there and we'll just use some multi-purpose yeah I like that I think we'll do the same on the envelope now I've got the stamp in my hand I might use a different bird this time which yeah that bird because it goes in a different direction. Now, how do I want that? About like that, like that, like that, like that. my multi-purpose glue hey Rhonda okay now we need some bling don't we my card I made earlier, I just used the, where are they, I used, I think they're right at the back, the pumpkin pie ones, oh they may not have been in that set, they might have been in an old set, but you know how I like to use things up, so 
you can actually make them pumpkin pie with your blends if you have them. So, or you can use a different colour. Uh, I think that might be a big one, is it? Or are they all the same size? Just thought that blended with the uh, pumpkin pie isn't a colour that I use all that often. So if I get a chance to use something that's pumpkin pie, I grab it. Okay. So what do you think? Pretty huge? Pretty cute. And we could use, we could do some bling. We could use some um, some wink of Stella. Our little birds, perhaps. And on our flowers. Just to bling it up a bit. I'll leave that there to dry. And I'll show you, um, this is one that I've half constructed, but I have used, I've done all sorts of colouring and I've fussy cut and I've used this bird here. So we'll just go through, uh, this will cement for you and me the, you probably don't need those because I'm using a different set of birds, the process of doing the measuring and so forth. So... I think I need to have that on the white, do I? Oh no, I can see that fine. Again, we're going... I've got all the rest done, so and I've got the birds cut out. I'll just do this piece. This, um, this part again for you. That's five, whoops. Right there, flip it over, five centimetres there, my pencil's a bit blunt I think, and five centimetres, have I got a sharper pencil, I need to sharpen these ones, this one, okay, and yes I've done the other the green bit, so Grab our trimmer back. And I need to score from pencil mark to pencil mark. Again. marks out. How easy is this? Really clever, um, the lady who thought of this, isn't she? Just really simple, but really effective. Just when you're folding it, just push, push those in and the rest fall into place but do do make sure your edges are together before you before you burnish it then you should get a good fit without having to trim it off I don't know what I did the first time I did it but I had to trim it off because it wasn't even that's probably the way I scored it etc Okay, now I've already done this bit. Same, same. I think I even put the green on there, did I? Yes, I think I did. Not as dark as I've used for this one, but it's there. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to go for it and stamp my sentiment in afterwards. 
you know if you if you mess it up you can always cover it with a piece of a piece of white stamp it again so I'll just do this because it's quicker I think I need my fan on a bit hotter oh don't put my little pokey tool in the bin this time we'll start lining it up on the bottom I think I'll stand up So there's that. And I just cut out and coloured the bird from the new set. Okay. Um, I just want to point out something that you might be interested in. Um, where is the stamp? That when you when you stamp this stamp, it will the leaves come out green, which I wasn't particularly. It's all right when you use green, but I was using black. Oh, hang on, let's just show you because I wanted to color them and actually I'll leave that open sorry I'm jumping from one thing to the other I'll show you what it stamps like in black in a second while I've got that open I'll stamp my greeting inside because knowing me I'll probably go to put the I'll put the birds in and then think oh wait I haven't done my greeting I think I cleaned that so let's put that inside before I forget I've got any look like I picked up a bit of green there I'm not sure if I did or not so put our thinking of you inside here the memento I think I've got it hiding under something over here yep just show you how that stamps in black and I always get memento on me when I use it. What have I done with my stamp now? It's good to point these things out I think. There's lots of other ways you could use this stamp set but just to show you what I'm on about. So when you stamp the bird and you want to colour it, you may not want black leaves. So I didn't want black leaves. So I'll show you what I did. Or I'll tell you what I did. stamped the leaves again in green and then I'll fussy cut them and stuck them on top and I was much happier with that. See why I want to stamp that first because I didn't want to put my little birdie over the top so we're just going to go with one bird for this card. Just a few dimensionals. I might put a little one towards the tail, perhaps. I might put a little one on that leaf, too. These little ones are handy, aren't they? You don't have to cut your dimensionals, which all takes time. Come on, I haven't got many fingernails here. I think here would be the best place for you. I've got to stamp these and cut them out. I realised there, there's another little stamp with a flower and a leaf, so I could have done that one too. 
but anyway I, I had done these two and I figured that was probably enough flowers we don't want flowers everywhere I better just texture it a bit sticking uh, because I haven't taken that off that'd be why let's do that okay A bit of a funny edge on that flower so it's going to hide underneath there and again you could put extra extra leaves on there I'm not sure that you really need them so let's keep them for another project and again we'll use our uh, where did she put them Oh, right in front of me. You can't find something, it's always right in front of you. I think we might use our. Oh, I've just realised I've got four flowers, but I don't think that looks odd. I look at it again and think, oh, and I don't want four flowers. I could always stamp that other little one and cut that out, but I'm quite happy. I think it looks balanced. a little bit of Wink of Stella. Colours I used on the little bird were uh, balmy blue. The face was, that part of the face was um, pale papaya. Um, what else did I use? And just some different browns I used. Um, soft suede light and dark dark and light crumb cake now we need to put something on there inside so we've got this stamp to put there and our envelope Stamps beautifully. Gorgeous. And you may not be as fussy as I am about your leaves being green. <laughs> it's okay, so that's that one. And I'll show you the one that I began yesterday and just I hadn't put it together I finished it off today this one I did a little bit of artful stamping if you don't know what that means it's um, Ruth Trice is the artful stamper she stamps so then she stamps off with a lot of her to make my background I used the sweet as a peach set and also use the sweet as a peach set to because it's got these leaves and you can stamp the flowers maybe i'll just show you let me get a block and put this one away i think i cleaned that did i or not hmm, maybe i didn't i put it away dirty can i We'll put that one away as I'm going. 
Oh, we've got a leaf stamp there too. We've got some really cute little stamps there. Um, so did I have that out? No. I think I, yeah, still had the flower ones out. So I won't make a card, I'll just grab my papers as back out. So what I mean by artful stamping is she'll go like that and like that. that I like to clean as I go so I know everything's clean and then I didn't do the flowers in this I did them in mango but because I've got the daffodil out I'll just do them in daffodil so then you're gonna tis I will say a little harder to line up once you've done your Ruth Trice thing but I'll do the best I can um, so this big one goes in between there I actually cheated and did the second stamp after I'd done this one, so I found it a bit, a bit confusing, but you'll get the idea. So like that, and then you go like that, so you can go like that too. So it really doesn't matter that you haven't lined it up. So that's how I did the, where is it now, the background for this one. Then I, oh, squashed my bird. Then I used... Clipso Coral and Bumblebee stamped off for my birds. And it was Mango Melody for the flowers. Okay, and then I think I, I think I, yeah, I did go over the leaves with a, with a, um, with our sponge daubers, our, oh, what do we call these? Our, these. Just to make them a little bit more green. So that was my first one. Okay. Hey, what's the time? Yeah, I did make it, Denise. <laughs> Hi, Maria. Thank you. Thanks, Maria. Thanks, Margaret. Hi, Rita. Yeah, I did. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I wasn't sure I did it, and then I wasn't sure, and then I came back this morning, I had it all set up, and I thought, oh, yeah, I do like that. So, yeah. So, you can do either way. You could do a plain background for your birds. It's whatever, you know, whatever you like. So, um, just to mention, there's, as I said before, there's a lot of things selling out on the last chance rack I was going to show you some because I'm embarrassed that I haven't even used um, what's it called peaceful place the cabin dies are still there but the stamp set has gone I was going to do a mail birthday card with with the stamp set but it's sold out so that and then I was going to show you gorgeous leaves gorgeous leaves is still there at the moment it's a beautiful set and if you, it's probably wiser to buy them separately. If you're in Australia, they're still available separately. As a bundle, they're around, they, I think the bundle's been reduced. I didn't pay a lot of attention to that. I think it was 70 something. And if you bought them separately, it added up to 63 or 64 or something like that. So some good bargains out there if you haven't yet gotten that set and you would like it it's okay so here we have our three little why do i always go crazy and <laughs> make all these cards because i love what i do you do that's why so you've got a little bit of variety with your birds and of course we've got free as a bird so if you've got that set as well that's cute as well I need to put some Wink of Stella on these ones okay thanks everyone for joining me at an earlier time slot and I hope to see you next week okay bye bye